shocking. It's not something that I thought could ever happen here. It was anything but a normal trip to the gym. The man accused of pleasuring himself at the Alexander Family Y on Hillsborough Street. Our Colleen Quigley talked with people there about this today. She is live outside the gym tonight. Colleen. Yeah, Angela, 26-year-old Brandon Stringfield was arrested. He's charged with indecent exposure. The people that we spoke to at this YMCA wanted to know how he even got into the locker room and then all the way into the steam room without somebody stopping him. We want to warn you, though, what you're about to hear might not be appropriate for some of our younger viewers. Police arrested Brandon Stringfield Tuesday after investigators say a woman saw him pleasuring himself inside a steam room at this Raleigh YMCA. It's a very nice gym inside. It's always seemed like it's very secure. It's very family friend friendly. Gym goers were alarmed to hear about the crime that, according to warrants, happened on March 31st when a member walked into the women's steam room to see a naked man touching himself while another woman was asleep. We had a male here at the YMCA, enter the women's locker room, and um, enter, and then enter the women's steam room. And he was witnessed masturbating in the women's steam room um, in the presence of another woman. In a 911 call made on April 2nd, a YMCA employee explains they weren't sure who the culprit was right away. This happened on Sunday. And we did not, we were not able to identify the person until recently, but no, as of, as of now, we are not aware that he is in there. Members of the Y were confused how the incident happened in the first place. There's someone that's at the desk outside of the locker rooms, and um, I would think that if a man walked into the women's locker room, you know, he'd be noticed before he got all the way to the steam room, so it's just... Kind of crazy. It's just odd and weird, and I just would like to know kind of the security procedures of how he got in there. Well, the YMCA did release a statement to us saying that the staff does monitor all of the spaces within the facility, adding that after this incident, they did review their procedures, saying that this is a reminder that it's important to be constantly vigilant. They also tell us that they did revoke the suspect's membership here. Reporting live in Raleigh, Colleen Quigley, CBS 17 News.